Hi folks, here's my latest update, what's happening on Gads Class 58 layout. See ya, well done, got plenty of cork which has just been laying the past couple of days. So far I've got down to about where that Class 6 is on that side. I'm just doing, just finish off the locos yard which where you can see a pile of track just in front of the signal box. I've just put a new full point in now, just got to rejoin that up. Took one side in that there because both locos on the where the 156s is and the regional where it is 155 is and then it was on the opposite side and the other side then the end of the clipping so I've took one out now I've got four on my locos yard which ain't gonna be too bad because it's a quite long anyway to store my locos so you can see that 66 that's my latest bit that I've just started doing today I've already put um, a bit of court down, I've put a bit of track in there, it's got a bit more track. They're going to be because um, for the freight line 66 and probably the freight line 57, which none of you have seen yet, which it's still in this box that my lad got for Christmas, which all the way up there, as you can see where my blue drill is, it's going to be all container wagons, probably car carriers as well. If I just take you around to the other side of the layout, hold on. I just say I've just started building another station here, which I think it was for my lad because my lad's locos there, just normal DC, which I'm giving him a couple of chips and that for his main two locos that he got for Christmas the 57 and the rail cart 153 Central Trains livery. So I think all this round here will be going this Bill Scenic round here. So we'll just go around here, hold on a sec, let me just turn around. I'm going very, as you can see, I've just about laid enough track for my lad to play on with his Thomas and that, but like I say, when I get his chips all done, he can go on the main layout. So all this down there, around there, I think is going to go. I'm going to have a fiddle yard here for all my passengers, which I've got two sidings running down, I've just got to get a couple of care points to put in there top and at the other end, top and bottom and eventually I reckon it's going to be stored on there because I don't know if any of you have seen I haven't got my GNER stock no more but what I'm going to do I think I quite fancy buying the new East Midlands HST to be stored around here somewhere where the Royal Mail coaches are as well we'll have about two HST East Midlands livery the new ones, I'll get them fitted and that's going to be the storage for them you see there's one of my latest locos, my 66 nice loco that is 66546 go up here, got my ballast train with my two double headed Elgin's 58 go up here just going to zoom in on the 58 you can see look the bridge here, the station bridge, which hopefully I'm going to get a footbridge that goes down to the station just down there. I ain't found one on the shop shelves yet that quite like that's going to suit it, but sort that out when time comes. And go up here. There's the other point coming off, ready for me. Other two curve points to come here to join the um, HST sidings when I get the HSCs, hopefully towards the new year, to go in there and be stored. And same again, just around there. Ain't too sure. I might just have a bit of scenic route round there. You know, that way you can see all me bits and bobs, clogs and stuff. And um, probably a bridge, like cliff or something. All this should be all scenic. Um, go around there. Fill the yard hasn't changed for the wagons and that. What a store over here. So just got to lay some more cork. Got to pick some more cork up. Get all these done. Ready. And and after that, all my points will eventually will have a point motor sitting at the side of them and they will be wired up all running up towards my DCC system which obviously people have looked on it, it's my lens compact, all the point accessory will be run off there. So I've got a fair bit of cork still left. But I reckon time to finish over this side, that be all gone, so I've got to pick some more up anyway. Go back to the new bit I'm doing. I'm hoping to get either the 
two sidings as you can see just started I'll maybe get another two more in like I say that's just going to be continental freight box wagons maybe a row of car carriers that batchman have just brought out which is quite quite think are quite nice and I just need a class 66 the shed as everyone calls them probably in the EWS livery around it you see from previously apart from the sixes and all the locos uh, all my wagons are all packed up because obviously I'm working on it when I go over it you wonder where all my storage is let's get down here hold on a sec just pull open this box got all my wagons and that stored in here packed away ready to unpack them again as soon as I sorted all the fill yard side out and more wagons obviously rolling stock to come you see cow train that should be um, I don't know probably two trains of um, 15 wagons the mainline blue ones and the EWS one which I've got just one EWS at the minute which I'm just sorting around trying to find some cheap ones and there's EWS on the rest of them Obviously, all the mainline blue, which, like I said, there'll probably be a rake of 15 soon. Hopefully, I'll pick some rolling stock up tomorrow. Right, that's it. That's, that's it for now. Just keep a look out on my channel and see the progress coming, coming on. As I say, in the next week or so, I know we're all back at work next week. But in the meantime, in a bit of spare time, the layout should hopefully be near enough ready for a bit of ballasting and everywhere and like I say just keep a look out for the new rolling stock that I'm planning on to get it'll be it'll look nice and like I say I do like the East Midlands live there 125 so that's it really so keep a look out and just come back having a look at my channel thanks